Hello fellow duelists, this is Shadow of the Moon, and today I'm gonna to be showing you an updated deck profile of my agent deck for March of or for February actually of 2023. I was gonna say March for a second, but um this deck just got a little bit of an upgrade. Uh unfortunately, since they did limit Herald of Our Orange Light to one, I did have to make some changes with that, and I also did some deck upgrades just to make it a little bit more consistent and actually just for me a lot better. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started with the deck profile. But I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. I am at 350 subscribers now. That is a lot, or I'm at least almost at 350. And that's just like, that blows my mind on so many levels. I just want to thank everybody who have has ever supported my channel by, you know, watching my videos, just enjoying them, commenting them, and us just having a nice discussion about, you know, what kind of decks that you like. Because I always love hearing what kind of decks that you like playing with, what's your favorite kind of monsters, and just everything all together, and just general. And as far as, like, people, I want to thank all Silent Blackwing, Cannot Gaming, for helping me with my Blackwings always, and giving me new strategies and stuff, because you guys are amazing. And also Star Duelist 200, who has been pretty much there since the beginning, for 350, all the way up to 350, you rock, you are so, you're such a good, you know, friend, you're a really good person, and I really appreciate always being able to comment on your videos, just, you know, it's just always a treat to always see your Pendulum deck profiles. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and dive straight on into the deck profile. So first off, we're going to have one copy of Master Hyperion, and then two copies of Majesty Hyperion. So this is the new card that came out last year. Master Hyperion will banish or destroy a uh, card on the field. If you have Sanctuary in the Sky, you can destroy two. And then Ma Majesty Hyperion can banish cards in the graveyard, which is very, very effective. And just a very good card altogether to be able to use. And this works well with the, with the new strategy. And then two copies of Uranus, the Agent of Entropy. Which is a great card because if you have Sanctuary in this guy, you can special summon those cards from your hand. And then from there, you can banish a, not banish, but you can send a agent card from your deck to the graveyard and can manipulate its level because this deck does have quite a bit of synchros in it since it is a synchro heavy deck. And from there, you can also synchro climb into whatever you need for the situation. And then obviously the best one in the deck is three copies of Agent of Creation Venus. This is Amazing Venus. Mix it to where you just pay 500. You can bring out the Mystic Shine Balls. From there, you can use those for Link. You're gonna, you can use those for Synchro Climbing. This is great because what also makes it nice is that also the Agent of Destruction Venus acts as a secondary uh, Venus because you can send those cards, those Shine Balls that were banished or sent to the graveyard. You can pay 500 life points to basically replay them. And it's very, just a really all-around really good uh, strategy because you are constantly using it and that's honestly the main card in the stack is venus and then three copies of the shine ball two level uh level two normal monsters you can link climb using this and use a uh, link spider and then three copies of agent mystery earth if you can grab an agent card from your deck and add it to your hand and if you have a sanctuary in the sky in the play in play you can grab a master hyperion from your deck to your hand and then three, Agent of Life, Neptune. Neptune is great because you can discard this card to special summon an agent monster from your hand or graveyard. And then when it's banished, you can uh, neither... When it's banished, uh, you can add, add a Sanctuary in the Sky from your deck to your hand. So you can only use the effect once per turn, but this is a great way to grab Sanctuary in the Sky if you do not have it. And also being able to discard to add another agent monster from your deck to your hand. So that's going to be it for the agents. Now we're going to move on to the deck card. So obviously Archlord... Uh, Chris, Christia. Christia is just locks your opponent in from special summoning, locks you in, but it's easy to get this on the field because you just special summon it by having um, four fairy type monsters in the graveyard, so it makes it very easy. And then to help us speed, because this acts as kind of like your own little cyber dragon, if you control no monsters, you can special summon your trick star, Korobane. Korobane is great because of that special summoning ability. It is a level 5, so it will help you synchro climb. And then for the hand traps, you have one orange light. Unfortunately, this was limited to one, but I'm still I still like using the one. And then three effect veilers to kind of negate your opponent's monster effects to kind of make sure that they don't do anything too too crazy. Um, you can add whatever hand trap you want if you wanted to instead of effect veiler. I just like using effect veiler because it is useful, especially with right now with today's format. So that's gonna be it for the monsters, guys. Let's move on to the spells. So obviously, your sanctuary in the sky. You got one copy of it. This is the main card in the deck. You have Sacred Waters of the Sky, three copies of Sacred Waters, this uh, Sacred Waters of the Sky, 
and you activate a Sanctuary in the Sky from your deck or add one monster that mentions Sanctuary in the Sky from your deck to your hand. And then if Sanctuary in the Sky is on the field or graveyard, you can gain 500 life points for each Hyperion and Agent monster you control. So this is a great way to dig out Sanctuary in the Sky. That's why you only really need one copy of Sanctuary in the Sky for this deck build uh, because you, there's so many ways to search for it. You have so many of the Link monsters that search for it. You've got extra cards in your deck they search for it. So it's pretty, pretty easy for the most part. And then one copy of Chorus in the Sky. Chorus in the Sky is a great tech card too. You pay a thousand life points, then target a fairy type monster in your graveyard, and then add it back to your hand. And if Sanctuary in the Sky is on the field, neither you can add a banished Sanctuary in the Sky or one of your banished cards that monster mentioned in your hand. You can only activate this once per turn. And then we're going to move on to two Celestial Transformations because Celestial is a great, great tech card in here. You special summon a fairy type monster and then you increase its attack as half and it gets destroyed. But this is a great way to be able to synchro climb and bring out the materials that you need. And then three copies of Dark Roller No More because you are going to need to shut off your opponent's effects on the field. Remember, you they do not take any battle damage and they cannot respond to this card's activation. So it's really, really useful, especially against players who have a lot of um, hand traps or a lot of negates and stuff. Uh, that they're going to be using monster effect wise and then one copy of call by the grave because you're, you always need call by the grave you need removal and stuff to be able to stop your opponent and then we're going to be going into two copies of fallen sanctuary fallen sanctuary is acts as a sanctuary in the sky because you can set a sanctuary in the sky or a spell trap that mentions it and then directly from your deck this card's name becomes it and then you can banish a fairy type monster from your graveyard then target an effect monster your opponent controls negates its effect until the end phase of the turn and when this card leaves the field, you can use the effect of it once per turn and only once during that turn. And then lastly, we have the Divine Punishment. If you have Sanctuary in the Sky, you can negate a spell, trap, or effect and destroy that card if you have Sanctuary in the Sky. All right, so that's going to be it for the main deck, guys. Let's move on to the extra deck. So obviously, two copies of Master, Hi Ma Ma uh, Master Flare Hyperion and one copy of Pluto. So basically, Master Hyperion is the boss monster in the deck. You can send an Agent Monster... Or one monster that mentions Sanctuary in the Sky from your hand deck or extra deck to the graveyard. Until the end phase, this card's name becomes that monster's original name and replace the effect with the effect of that. When your opponent activates a card or effect, you can quick effect, banish a fairy type monster from your hand or graveyard, then target a card on the field, banish it. You can only activate the effect once per turn. It doesn't negate it, but it does banish it, and that in and of itself is very useful. And then Pluto. Pluto is going to help you synchro climb because Pluto becomes... The card is always treated as an agent card, and then once per turn, you can banish a monster from your graveyard, then target an effect monster on the field. Change it to face down defense position. This is a quick effect, and if the Sanctuary in the Sky is on the field, you can banish this card from your graveyard to add a Sanctuary in the Sky from your deck or graveyard to your hand. And then we have so Sword Soul Supreme Sovereign. Obviously, this is used for the banish effect and to keep pumping them up for every card that gets banished. You have one Borload Savage Dragon because you are playing a lot of uh, Link monsters in the deck. Mandatory, and if you cannot get that, you can also get a uh, Drake of Berserker because Drake Berserker negates or banishes a monster when it activates its effect. And then Herald of Arc Light, this is going to be your negate as well. Um, because I do have one of these actually knowing that it's really really good because it's a good way to negate your opponent's monster effects, spell, or trap effects. And then we have Cupid Pitch, Cupid Pitch, uh, card synchros increase increases cards level by one, and the tuner is a material. Hand that you had on the field, so it's a great way to be able to synchro climb, and it is a level four and is a tuner, so it will help you. And then that's going to be it for the synchros. Now we'll move on to the protection, the protector of the agents, uh, moon. Protector of the agents, moon is great because it's link summoned. You can send a sanctuary in the sky or one card that mentions it from your deck to the graveyard. And if it is, if you have sanctuary in the sky, you can add an agent or mercury earth from your deck to your hand, so it's a great way to grab agent or mercury earth. And then you have one copy of Appaloosa Bow of the Goddess. This is a great way because you do get special summon a lot. And then Celestial Knight Lord Parsaf. This is a great tech card as well. And then we have Herald of Mirage Lights. Herald of Mirage Light. When a spell trap or effect is activated, you can send one fairy type monster from hand to the graveyard to negate the activation. And if you do destroy it, it's a great negate. And then we have one Link Spider for your uh, Mystic Shine Balls. You got one copy of World Chalice Dragon. And then one copy of Salmon Great Almirage. Now, you don't have to have these two in here if you want to replace these. That's totally up to you. I'm just using them because I like them in the deck right now. And that's going to be it for this deck profile. I hope you enjoyed it. This enjoyed this deck. Um, I love this deck to pieces. This is such a fun deck to play with and being able to see how good it is. Because 
it's so like fast and just like it does so much it synchros so much and it just synchro climbs and i'm glad that the agent finally got support we were long overdue guys for an agent support let me tell you that was it was brutal <laughs> because for the longest time the only time you got it was back in 2011 and then finally we get support for it and it's just this deck is so fun to play with because it locks your opponent out from playing sometimes and also just negates a lot of effects you've got a lot of um you have a lot of like uh banishing effects you have a lot of effects that kind of like you know interrupt you so this deck has a lot of interrupts and a lot of just great negate and a lot of power so all right so that's gonna be it for this deck profile i hope you guys enjoyed and with that see you guys next time later